And today, consumer investigator Jim Strickland found one stretch of road where the competition is especially fierce and prices especially cheap. Drivers are celebrating, but one expert told Jim it's not all good news. A tank full used to cost almost $60, and today looks like it's going to be maybe 40 Renee Christian, one of a myriad of drivers we saw lined up at a Kroger on Cobb Parkway. The posted price of three fifteen nine is fifteen cents below the city's average, and matched by two QTs, even this mom and pop Sunoco. You get a person that come in once, they like how you treat them, they like uh, the prices, and they just keep home. It's an extra mile from the closest station to me, which is only a mile, but you know the extra mile pays off. We checked throughout the day and found a six-mile stretch of Cobb Parkway at seven of the Metro's ten cheapest stations, not counting warehouses where you pay for pumping privileges. I used to pay $45 to fill it up. Now it costs about 31 which is a big difference because I'm always driving, I'm always commuting. My sources have been helping me track wholesale prices here at the Doraville gas terminals since last spring. Prices overnight up a dime, but still at some of the lowest levels we've seen in months. But falling oil prices send a different signal. That demand and the economy will actually be weak. Maybe if we go all the way back to $2 a gallon, that means that we're in a major recession. That's bad for everybody. I don't try to make heads or tails of it anymore. <laughs> I just, I'm just thankful when it starts going like this. Moss says the best hope is what he calls a Goldilocks gas price. Not too high, but not too low. Reporting in Cobb County, Jim Strickland, Channel 2 Action News.